Tonight, the Purdue Boilermakers take to the floor at Cambridge Fieldhouse for their first round of the game of the NCAA tournament. And for a few guys on the team, it is a bit of a homecoming. That includes Westfield grad Braden Smith. WRTV's Jessica Grudling is live this morning after catching up with his family. Jessica, good morning. Hey, good morning, Lauren. Yeah, for Braden Smith, the goal was always to play on a big stage like this one. He has two parents who played and coached and now a younger brother paving his own way. So even though Lafayette is only an hour up the road for Braden and all the hometown guys, it's special to start here in Indy in front of family and friends. What do you love about playing basketball? Uh, just everything. I just it's just like fun. It's what the game of basketball means for 12 year old Maddox Smith. Shooting around at Westfield Intermediate with his parents, you could say the court is a common bond for the Smiths. Just watching him play, like how he gets it, probably I mostly get it from him. Him is Braden Smith, starting guard for the Purdue Boilermakers and Maddox's older brother. He means a lot. Just 35 minutes down the road, Braden is on the floor at Gamebridge Fieldhouse, the first practice for Purdue at the NCAA tournament. It's just like cool because like not many people have an older brother that's like plays at a Division One good school. It's a bit of home court advantage. From that perspective, you know, I'm excited for them as much as anything. So I know there's a bunch of people coming down uh, tomorrow to the game, so I'm excited to watch the kids. Um, it saves us money. This is Ginny and Dustin Smith, Braided and Maddox's parents. It's who they get their love of the game from. Both played college ball at Arkansas Tech. And now being able to watch both of our boys do it um, is, is pretty cool. They go to nearly every Purdue game and were in Columbus last year when the number one seeded Boilermakers became only the second team in tournament history to lose to a 16 seed. Last year was tough. <laughs> we um, we actually left the next morning and I don't think we talked the entire way home. Now back in a similar position, this is a bit of a redemption run for the Boilermakers. Just a great opportunity for the kids to bounce back, right? Um, sports is about adversity and how you respond, right? So I'm anxious to see these kids respond. Like I said, um, they're competitors. Um, you know, they have a will to win that's not normal, I think, um, when you compare them to just, you know, the average Joe. And they've seen the work put in by the team and their son. In a sophomore season, Braden is averaging 12.5 points and just over seven assists a game. The amount of time he spent in the gym, the amount of time he spent in the weight room, the amount of time he took care of his body, just that kind of stuff. Being able to see that and, and, and watching your son be able to live out his dream is pretty, it's, it's a cool thing. A dream coming true at Purdue that maybe manifested itself in this picture. The, the irony of that picture yeah. makes me smile sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, Braden was born in Arkansas and I'm from Arkansas. So, you know, this whole Purdue, IU, all of that stuff, it's not even in my wheelhouse, right? It means nothing to me. It just so happened. I don't even really know how he ended up with that little yeah. Purdue outfit, but the fact that he had it and we have a photo of him in it, I almost felt like he was destined to be there. Now, I did ask Maddox if Purdue is also in his future. He said maybe, but like any younger brother, he wants to be better than her than his older brother. And he said he does text Braden before every game to wish him good luck. So Braden will be getting a text tonight because they tip off tonight at 725 here at Gamebridge against Grambling State. And we do know there's a lot of Indiana ties in this tournament. One of them will actually be on the Tigers. Jalen Johnson calls Indy home as well.